Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Leo, this is going to be from the 5th to the uh, 11th of August and your major arcana, the major influence which will be surrounding you this upcoming week is the Justice card. Wow, so maybe things are going to go in your favor and you'll be giving a lot of gratitude to the universe as well. So justice is when things start, start start to finally you know balance out things are fair things are just maybe some court cases are going in your favor or overall you could just be feeling that yes all my hard work is paying off and things are coming into balance so let me let me see let's take out one card for each day and see what this justice card is going to bring for my lions and my lionesses spirit monday to sunday please 5th to the 11th of august what can leo expect one card for each day what should they be prepared for what can they expect now and what's this justice card all about and a warm welcome back to all my subscribers welcome in newcomers three of wands for monday oh six of wands for tuesday victory and success what you were waiting for is coming all right six of pentacles you have two sixes okay and the devil on thursday Friday you have the seven of cups high priestess and the seven of pentacles nine of cups overall energy I love this reading for you Leo uh, this is uh, when you'll be jumping with joy this week this overall energy is the nine of cups which means making some major wishes of yours come true okay all right spirit why is Leo going to be celebrating this week tell me let's take one card for each day but before that of course I'm going to take an affirmation for you so that uh, well you stay very very positive and look forward to this victory which is just ahead of you so affirmation for Leo spirit what's the affirmation for Leo here it is and uh, Leo the affirmation for you is detachment I release everything and everyone. My spirit is free. According to the spiritual law, you can have anything your heart desires. However, if your happiness, sense of security or feeling of power depends on someone or something in your life, then you are attached to that person or thing and it is a chain that binds you to a lower frequency and keeps you stuck. The guidance is to ask the angels to help you Cut the cords that tie you to people, things and emotions. When all attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. This enables you to reclaim your power and be genuine. Free your spirit and that of others. Let go now. So once again, your affirmation is, I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. I did sense a little bit of that energy coming in on Thursday with the devil where it might confuse you a little bit on Friday. Okay, but spirit is saying use your intuition. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. Let's start with Monday. Uh, spirit, what's the three of wands for Monday for Leo? Three of wands, ace of wands. You are excited. My God, you're waiting for that breakthrough. You're waiting to take, you know, you, you like it's almost like you start starting at that you know when you have that race and you have that start point and you're waiting for that whistle to blow uh, you can see your ships coming in you've worked really hard for something maybe you would, you've been in waiting mode for a long time and you're itching to get onto that horse and start you know uh, galloping uh, forward so monday seems to be a day when you're preparing for that breakthrough to happen am i right spirit but you can see it you 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 know it's almost there like you're almost at the brink but monday i don't see too much action except for preparation maybe you just kind of put yourself uh, you know in a place where you feel that today i'm just going to maybe meditate or you know keep get my things in order get prepared for all the you know forward movement that's supposed to come but there is excitement there's a positive feeling in your uh, heart where you feel yes i'm excited and i'm passionate and i'm looking forward to this whatever this is for you to come forward towards me i have the four of uh, uh, pentacles but i have the ace of cups and the ace of wands so it's something that's going to make you you know it's going to make you emotionally happy there's a fire lit in your belly and you, you are patiently waiting for that you know whistle to blow so you can move forward 
on Tuesday, I do see some sense of victory. You are going to be in the spotlight, uh, Leo. You are going to be applauded by many others. You are in the spotlight. There is some victory, some success coming towards you. Uh, because right after the Six of Wands, there's the Six of Pentacles, which is again forward movement. Sixes are always progress and forward movement. And this is like all your hard work, whatever you've been putting in, you will start to see the returns of that coming in. Whatever maybe you've been waiting for on Monday, right? So Tuesday spirit, six of wands, four of wands, you'll be celebrating. This is like not only are you in the spotlight getting all that victory and success, you probably will uh, be celebrating with your family and your friends and maybe giving them some good news and maybe having a little, you know, celebration dinner or something like that, feeling very good, safe, secure in your own power, feeling that yes, now I am on the move and uh, now I not only have enough for myself but I also have enough to share with my loved ones as well. So it's going to be a day of victory and success. Tuesday, uh, look forward to Tuesday because that shows me that you are in a very good place. Maybe something that you were really really waiting for is going to be expressed. Whatever was in the dark, whatever was in the dark is finally going to be you know uh, exposed or expressed on Tuesday and I do see you celebrating with maybe your close friends and um, family or your children or something like that. So Wednesday spirit, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles again is a card of equal give and take. What, whatever effort you've been putting in, what uh, you're getting back in return. Maybe you were stuck for a very long time. You weren't seeing it coming for, for a long, long time. But now, now when this, they say when it rains, it starts to pour. So six of pentacles clarified by the six of pentacles. This is something that maybe you didn't see coming. But now when it starts to pour in uh, Leo, it's not going to stop. It's like whatever area of this life that it is whether it's a relationship you'll see your partner giving you you know all that love and affection back or if it's a job that you've been working on I do sense it could be a it could be some money and success uh, more so uh, something that you were feeling stuck about but now you start to see that the wheel of fortune is finally moving in your favor and not only just moving in your favor Leo it is promising to take you straight to the promised land the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like generational wealth or inheritances or something that you're working towards which has the promise to grow into like decades of, you know, getting back in return. But on Thursday, I do see the devil. What's the devil? Is that fear now? Things are getting too good to be true. What is it, spirit? Hierophant. Okay. Lovers. Yep. There is a bit of fear. Maybe you feel, oh my God, maybe I should stick to the tried and tested, you know. Sometimes we get into a comfort uh, spot as well, Leo. I was reading uh, the other day, the you know, how people boil a frog is they put a frog into cold water and put it in a pan. I mean, I, I know it's gross to even think about it, but I was reading about it, so I'm telling you, it's just metaphoric, okay? So you put the pan on the, the, the fire and the as the water keeps warming, the frog gets used to the temperature. So if you if you heat the water before and then put the frog in, the frog will immediately jump out because not used to it, right? So, but if you gradually warm the water, the frog just gets used to it and that's it. So maybe there is a bit of fear that comes on Thursday saying, I should maybe stick to the, you know, tried and tested. I was comfortable here. Uh, am I making the right choice? There is a little bit of hesitation that comes because you got used to maybe that nine of pentacles scenario where you feel, you know what, I've worked hard for what I have. I'm happy. I've achieved so much. I'm good where I am. Do I really want more? Uh, am, am I going to even mess up my nine of pentacles if I move towards this new opportunity which is promising me the ten of pentacles? So I do see Thursday gets you a little bit of going into fear. And yes, on Friday again, I see you a little confused, uh, checking out your options, wondering whether you're doing the right thing. But you, you will be guided. What Spirit is trying to say, I have the high priestess here. And I have the High Priestess here again on Saturday, which tells me, um, Leo, you will be guided. All you have to do is listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, and 
just take a little time out by yourself. Reflect on your decision before maybe listening to others or getting others' uh, opinions who could be, you know, sitting like a devil in your ear and trying to confuse you. So just be a little mindful. Yes, they are um, good collaborative people around you, supportive people around you. But sometimes everybody is not in your shoes, Leo. So in the name of uh, being supportive and being collaborative, be, be mindful they don't like stop you. Okay, so one is if somebody holds my hand, right, that means they're trying to give me support. And one is if they're trying to hold my hand and saying, don't take this. We're going to not allow you to make a mistake or something. But spirit is trying to say this time round, you have to listen to your own gut, your own intuition. Uh, see things from different perspectives, see what makes your heart sing and then make that decision. So high priestess spirit Saturday. High Priestess, yep, see, here's the devil again. Here's the devil again. So you'll have to fight the devil. Maybe this is the devil in your own ear of your own mind. But listen to your gut. I mean, the High Priestess can overcome any devil, any naysayers, any negative thoughts. So please, this uh, universe is saying, you are being guided by your intuition. Take a little time on, on Friday and Saturday and don't get confused by what others have to say or if your own devil mind is trying to, you know, put that fear inside of you, listen to your own gut and make the right decision. I think by Sunday you'll be ready. You'll be ready to make, to know where, what and what not to invest in. So tell me about the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles for Sunday spirit. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, you are fighting the devil, yep, you are fighting the devil and you may take a baby step, you may, because I think you're realizing the potential of your decision, you know it's going to be a solid, solid, brand new beginning and even though you may not invest in 100%, on Sunday you could make that decision to say, okay, let me just put my little toe in and get it wet and see where it goes because your intuition is telling you that this is an opportunity not to be missed and once you can fight that devil off well there is no stopping you after that uh, Leo you'll be on your way the chariot has arrived yes it could be a slow start it could be a slow start but you are doing it from a place of self-love of gratitude of just listening to your own spiritual self and connecting with the with the divine right and once you make up your mind even that small start uh, Leo is going to then bring you back into your element of being that king of wands and saying you know what I'm going to leave all the naysayers all my negative thoughts behind and I'm going to move forward into a brand new beginning and once that happens on by the by Sunday evening you'll be sitting in your power and saying now I'm not looking at the past anymore I've made up my mind I've decided to start from scratch into whatever this investment or wherever I've planned to invest my time and energy and I'm now attracting in all the beautiful things into my life it's going to be an emotionally happy day for you because you realize, yes, finally I'm leaving my troubles behind and I'm moving forward to a very calm, peaceful place in my life. Just be very mindful, Leo, that this, uh, by Wednesday, Thursday, uh, you will have to make a major decision. So make the decision from your intuition and not from that devil energy which could be trying to put the fear inside of you. Right? I do see you a little bit confused, but uh, you'll be fighting it off. There could be other people as well, maybe deceptive people, jealous people, trying to you know, say something or tell you that, you know, they're, please remember, these people are only jealous of your aura. They're jealous of your aura. They see that you have that fire inside of you and you're shining bright and maybe they want to dim your light or something. But um, Leo, you focus on yourself and your hard work is going to pay off. You are moving towards the Ten of Cups very, very soon. And um, even if yeah, things seem hard, uh, maybe while making the decision, but once you make that choice, make that decision, put that, I mean, start. Don't, I mean, you don't have to jump headlong. Just start from point A and then you see how you feel after that. Okay? All right. So that's what I have for you. I mean, that's what Spirit is saying. Detach from the outcome. Listen to your gut and go for it. Just detach. Don't expect too much or fear it or worry about it. 
just say okay i am going to try this without any expectation without any fear love and light till next time then take care